The Hard Shoulder with Kieran Cuddy. Josh Crosby is back with me, continuing his series of reports into the local elections. June seventh, we will be going to the polls. Josh, what are we looking at today? So, Kieran, look, if you look at politics, it seems to be getting younger and younger. If you look out across the cabinet, or even if you're not that overly interested in politics, but you happen to see a minister on the news. There were fewer and fewer wrinkles appearing. Sure, our current Taoiseach, Simon Harris, was only 29 when he became Minister for Health, and now he's the youngest ever Taoiseach at 37. So if you compare this to Eamon de Valera days, like, like, but there is a woman now who's running this year's local election who would beat the mature age of Eamon de Valera as well by a good few years. So I headed west and I met with a very interesting woman in Galway, Margarita Darcy. Some listeners might know the name. Margarita is an actress, writer and playwright but she's also been heavily involved with the anti-war movement, and in particular the use of Shannon by the US military. She's been jailed in the North for her activism on women's rights in prisons, and then her most recent stint was due to her activism against the use of Shannon Airport. But now she's decided to throw her hat in the election, and do you know what age she is, Karen? Uh, what did you say? Senior of Dev. She must be in her 90s, is she? 89 years of age. She'll be 90 now, a week after the election. Oh, that is some going. And I said that, as a woman... I'm always inclined to say no. Now, what's wrong with me suddenly deciding to say yes? Yes, like Molly Bloom. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Because I can then put my message across. You would have been very vocal on campaigning and activism over the years. So with that, I suppose you find some people highly agree with you or highly disagree with you. So what's the reaction been like now as you're out canvassing and knocking on doors? Well, no, I have not been knocking on doors. That's one thing I can't do, unfortunately. But on the other hand, sitting there and giving out my little flowers, the reaction has been incredible. It's young and old. They seem to be totally delighted that a decrepit old lady in her wheelchair is actually standing. You would be the most senior, I believe, candidate running in this election? We mustn't, we mustn't be ageist. With all that life experience behind you, do you think it can benefit you now if you were to be elected? It doesn't matter whether I get in or don't get in. It's actually the experience of being on the streets and giving that my message. And Margaret and Margaret, who are the heart and soul of life in this country, to stand up for people and to stand up to say no. Joe Biden, get out of Shannon, get out of Gaza. Eat your ice cream instead of slaughtering innocent children. You need your number one vote. Reserve Shannon Airport for travel and commerce, not war and body bags. Freedom of expression, human rights, Gaza. We need a ceasefire in Gaza. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Margaret has been campaigning for uh, many, many years and for about 40 years. I've known her. She's always uh, been absolutely uh, passionate about peace. Uh, she's been anti-war from the very start. She sat outside the South African Embassy in, uh, in London years ago with John Arden when nobody even heard of Nelson Mandela. She was there. I met her yeah, 40, odd, 40 odd years ago and she has been committed to one thing and one thing only and that is bringing peace to the world ride on see you i could never go with you no matter how i wanted to ride on see you ceasefire in gaza get American warplanes out of Shannon. USA, stop sending bombs to Gaza. Stop sending bombs to Gaza. Stop the bloodshed because only you can. Vote number one for Margareta Darcy. Guantanamo Granny, mad, bad, and dangerous. Her own words. <laughs>